This lake over my shoulder here is Torch Lake. This is the lake my grandfather and I, it's the lake my grandfather and I went fishing on. Uh, you can also see this, maybe see this dredge. I'm gonna fly the drone over here in just a minute, but uh, there's a dredge that was left here on the lake. This lake is toxic. You're not supposed to eat the fish. There's evidently some kind of alkaline something or another in the water from all the mining. And uh, yeah, beautiful lake. I mean, we were slaying fish, absolutely slaying them. Turns out you can't eat them. And you know, the locals, I think they eat them, but. Another reason I'm here is that I'm gonna walk in some of these ruins. There's ruins up here too. I don't really know the mine, uh, the mine right here, but if I can find it out, I'll put it on the screen. Um, but this is awesome. And there are all kinds of graffitied ruins here, which, you know, I don't love the graffiti, but it does add a certain eeriness. Wow, wow. Speaking of eerie. So this is on the way to Lake Linden. Um, that's where I'm going. They got a campground there that my grandfather and I had a, uh, we had a pretty good stay at. And, and actually the police got called and, um, <laughs> but we did, the lady was real nice. But uh, long story short, some little squirrely redneck was camped out in our spot when we came back literally set his tent up right next to ours and parked his car right in front of our tent and said that he had already reserved the spot so he wasn't moving anyway it was pretty shitty he got in my grandfather's face and whatever but uh huh. you know i don't think that's very safe but i i'm dying to go up there this is cool, it's got a wheel on it, some kind of wheel. There's multiple steps here too. There's another staircase here, three. I see another, four. I see four staircases that, you know, you could, you could go up, so. I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna try my luck on this one. Man. Eerie. You know, to add a little bit to it, there's like water dripping everywhere. It's a little creepy, you know, it's, um, <laughs> I don't know what this tunnel is. Check out this little tunnel. Some kind of kiln, tunnel, something. wall back here this is upstairs another building over here wow 
Wow. Well, that guy left. Thankfully. There's the stairs. can't count how many, t I mean, <laughs> the Upper Peninsula. Because I stayed outside of Lake Linden at a campground that uh, my grandfather and I stayed at. Um, I just wanted to kind of relive the memories of us, you know, staying there or whatever. Uh, the lady, the campground host is super nice. So I, you know, I, anytime I come up here, I'm gonna stay, you know, if I got time. Um, but as I was leaving Lake, you know, Lake Linden area, um, I just saw a, a, all it was was a brown sign that had two hikers on it. And so I thought, well, hey, I'll let the dogs out, you know. And so I came up this road, the gravel road, not very far, um, up the hill, something about a golf course. I kept following it. And then I saw falls. So I have found myself at this waterfall and I gotta be honest, I really don't know the name of it. I'm gonna find out because this is extraordinary. I bring this to you because if you're coming up here anywhere near, this is a place you probably wanna check out. It, it really is super extraordinary. Uh, there's five waterfalls on this creek here and I'm about in the middle of it, I believe. They said there's two more up this way, but this is extraordinary. This is the first one. I mean, the first one I came to. Um, is absolutely an extraordinary time to be here. I think any time is an extraordinary time, but. It's one more waterfall, you guys. Actually, there's three more. Uh, this is, I've only shown you two so far. Um, one more down this way that's noteworthy. Well, the most note. Actually, I think this is the best, personally, but I haven't really ventured down too much. I got so excited I ran and grabbed the camera. Um, you know, there's things that just <laughs> for one reason or another that just don't get known to too many people. And I don't know that this is one of those, but I've never heard of this. I've never knew anything about it. And um, there's something special about that stumbling upon this stuff like you know it's it's one thing when you look at videos and pictures and know what to expect but when you're just blindsided by the beauty that is it's it's really <laughs> it hits harder and this 
definitely punched me pretty good. Just extraordinary. Absolutely extraordinary. I gotta work fast because Ollie's in the car. He uh, had a big morning, we played ball. He did some of this walk, uh, but I took him back when I went and got the camera. Look at this. There it is, folks. I believe that's Lake Linden right there. Saxon. This is uh, probably 60 foot or 70 foot or so. I don't, get back. Scares the daylights out of me. There it is. Now I didn't go down here. There's a trail comes through here. Um, extraordinary hiking all through here. But this is just, wow. I wouldn't, this is awful slick. I wouldn't want to get down there and slip on those rocks and not be able to stop yourself. I don't think it'd be a good, uh, you know, a good day. But absolutely just dang. You guys, I was wrong about that that drop. That's that's probably more like a hundred feet, hundred and twenty feet. It is extraordinary. Here's a trail that's I don't want to take my dog on, but goes down there. <laughs> my lord. Have you ever, ever seen a place so beautiful? Listen, we went to um, Oregon coast last year and it was equally extraordinary, but I, I put this up against anything that I saw out there. So I guess this is the other ones. Then, I see a spillway right here, which is what the gentleman told me about. So there's got to be a lake, I'm assuming. We'll go up there. Keweenaw Land Trust. Oh, I want to fish here. Yes, sir. I want to fish right here. You know, I consider myself quite lucky to live the life I live. Um, it's pretty magnificent. But with extreme highs come extreme lows too. So as magnificent as it is, it sometimes has its drawbacks. But this is a magnificent time. My camp right there. Look at that moon. Look at the moon. This is um, a pretty amazing spot I've just stumbled upon. So I wanted to go fishing. I was across the way over here. You probably can't see it. I'll put some drone footage in there, but there is a dock there. This water is crystal clear. I mean, amazingly, like 30, 40 feet I can see. It's It's got a blue hue to it. It is just beautiful. 
So I'm on the dock fishing, you know, trying trying to see fish or whatever, um, see if I can fish there. Somebody in an ATV camp, you know, he comes up and I ask him if I could ride on the trails around here and if there was any camp. And he said, camping all around this lake. He said, they, you can't camp here, but, but you can get away with camping back there. Here I am. There's spot, there was spots all around this place. This particular place I'm at is big enough for, you know, quite a few. Uh, I will say it's not the most level, but there's a couple, you can get over here. You can get where I'm at. You can tuck in these trees. You can, you know, you could probably get uh, six or eight here, you know, and uh, this is a great, great spot. Absolutely just amazing. It's, uh, there's no bugs. I don't know how that's going on, but there's no bugs. Um, it's lining up to be just an amazing night. I'll say that. Let's just hope everything stays that way. I don't see any of these. <clears throat> well. Hello, Turbo. Hello, little boy. Hello, Ollie back there. Hello, Mr. Boy. My dogs require me to stop quite often. And frankly, they are responsible for me finding some pretty amazing, just amazing things. I really don't know what to expect here. This is called Shorty Falls or Smalley, Smalley, Smalley Falls. It's right off 141. Um, there it says right there. 250 yards so it's not far this road is maybe uh three quarters of a mile off of 141 it came up on the map i just needed a place to take the dogs and so um again here i am there's lots of footprints here uh it looks like a pretty <gasps> wow look at that coral Mm -mm. It looks like a pretty well-traveled trail, so we'll see what we got. It says rough trail, and it's rocky, rooty, and straight down. And uh, <laughs> Listen, there it is. Although still, although it's still beautiful. I'm not entirely sure that this. Oh, well, it is very nice. But I'm not entirely sure that this is worth a stop on its own. There is another uh, waterfall down the way called Long Slide Falls. Uh, I'll be going there too. Probably won't take Ollie there. Um, it's going to be a bear for him to get back up this uh, back up this trail. Right, Ollie? What a tough guy. 15 years old. And this, trust me, is a lot. Whoa. To ask for a 15 year old dog. And look at that smile on his face. He just winked at me, too. He's, uh, he's awesome. He is awesome. Aren't you, Bubba? Well, 
no need to venture around here. I think we just had it back up. Thank you. 